So I think I actually uncovered something really cool. Remember when we did our reaction video to Adult Swim's new short, Come and Lure with Pippi? And we debated on whether this was actually just a random Adult Swim short or something that was planned for the future, like possibly a series? Well, I think I actually found something that could confirm this is going to be a series in the near future. And I gotta tell you, I'm really excited. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for tuning in. My name is Anima TD, better known as Animated, and I wanna thank you guys once again for tuning in to a brand new video. And you guys did hear me right, apparently some new series details has been found on the internet about this series. And I gotta tell you, man, when I first saw the video, I really was hoping that something about this was gonna be done and created into some sort of series for Adult Swim. And I might have actually found something that could actually confirm this. So while scouring the internet to find brand new details about this possible new show, we actually did find a casting call script for learning with Pibby. Now, the cool thing about this is that it actually gives us a look at a brand new logo and a brand new name for the series titled learning with pibby apocalypse now of course you could already tell that things get kind of crazy from the video that we've seen on adult swim so it makes sense for it to be basically called an apocalypse especially if there's only like four characters that like survive the whole cartoony glitchy thing that happens and what's cool about this is that we actually do get credit from cartoon network studios which is possibly helping with the script writing for this show now the cool thing about this is that it gives us a look at some concept art for both pibby and bun bun and i gotta tell you that is like so sad to see bun bun being corrupted and pibby's just there smiling menacingly it, it doesn't make sense but i love it if you guys didn't happen to go on ahead and watch the video over on adult swim we did do a reaction to it but basically this is the series description the cartoon worlds are under attack by an unknowable evil when a cute preschool character safe educational tv show is wrecked by evil pibby our main character has to escape to different animated programs and learn how to grow up be a badass and save the cartoon world from destruction along the way she teams up with a cliche superhero sidekick Beta Kid, and a classic Disney villain, Malyra. Although none of them are traditional main character heroes, they have to learn to work together. Ultimately, Pibby fights the corrupted evil incarnation of her best friend and harnesses the power of darkness inside her to save the cartoon world from the apocalypse. Now, it's cool about the series description that it gives us a more in-depth look as to what is going to be happening in this upcoming series. And of course, it gives a little illustration of both Pibby and Bun Bun with Bun Bun being basically taken over by the corrupted darkness and basically leading us into what the show is going to be about. So now that we got a more in-depth look as to what the series is going to be about, we actually get a little bit more details about each each particular character showing up in this brand new series now obviously pibby is the main character of this series and this description actually is very interesting to read Pibby starts the series as a typical cutesy preschool character like dora the explorer but by the end of the season she has to become a hardened badass she's a reluctant hero wanting to stay childlike forever but she sees her best friend eaten by an unknowable monster and in each episode she has to grow and become the hero that she's needed from the start it's important for the voice of pibby to be able to play both both a trope cartoony cute character and also be able to portray more nuanced adult emotions while staying the same character at her core throughout. She's defined by her optimism, which leads as a childlike joy, but ends with a determined resolve. Baby can be voiced by any ethnicity. Now, what's cool about this particular shot here is the fact that we actually get to see how Pibby evolves from the character that we get to see from the very beginning of the pilot to how she ends off to the very end of the season. So of course we start off with cute, innocent, and lovable Pibby, and then throughout the mid-season, we get to see her experience the traumas that she's went through trying to save her best friend to where we get to see her transition into who she is at the very end of the season with a small detail of her being able to harness the weird dark corrupted power which i really kind of want to see how that ends especially with if she's able to harness that power how can she use it to possibly reinvent the cartoon universes back to their normal state i really do like this character a lot and the fact that they mentioned that she's a door the explorer type character really kind of means that bun bun is basically her boots kind of comparison which is really cool i don't know why i like it but i do and speaking of bun bun we actually get more information about his character as well for this series bun bun is pibby's best friend in her preschool cartoon show they've been best friends for 200 episodes and done everything together bun bun is totally sincere and innocent he is the boots to pibby's dora he is the quintessential cute character with no sense of irony 
At the end of the pilot, Bun Bun is consumed by evil, and throughout the series, he is the embodiment of the darkness that is attacking the cartoon world. His distorted voice spews out internet slang and nastiness to antagonize Pippi, but the core of the original cute character is exactly what is most terrifying about him, making him the perfect nemesis. So the fact of his character literally being this sweet, innocent character to being the most badass villain of him just basically throwing internet slang and nastiness to antagonize his best friend is a really definite twist of events. Like, look at like the images that they show. They literally have literally the internet corrupting this poor child. And it sucks because it is so relatable to the real world with how the internet has corrupted a lot of basically the world's youth to what they are now. So it makes perfect sense for Bun Bun to just be corrupted by the internet as a whole and it just is a brain blasting perfect thing next up we have new information about the brand new character beta kid which i'm really do hoping that with this character he just is good i really think that he could have some potential here anyways beta kid is a quintessential sidekick all aw shucks and alteration he is a superhero in training and can't wait to get his powers he's obsessed with becoming a superhero but over the season he realizes that he never really wanted to be a superhero and was just doing it because it's what his mentor a real superhero wanted danger actually really stresses him out the voice actor should be able to portray him as a stylized robin from batman character but also a realistic stressed out teen who's a little neurotic but still wants to help his friends. Beta Kid can be any ethnicity. What's really cool about this is the fact that they want someone that could give him that Robin type style from the Batman kind of side of things. And it's so cool because I feel like we don't get a lot of that often. Like we get superhero shows and superhero movies and we don't really have that whole Robin and Batman aesthetic to where it just actually is really genuine. So to really see that they're going this route with this kid who might not actually even have powers at all and doesn't even want to be a superhero is just really interesting for me. So I really do hope that Beta Kid actually can get some light because this is a really interesting concept compared to a lot of other stuff that we've seen in past shows. And finally, we get some brand new details about this classic Disney villain, Melira. Melira is a classic Disney villain in the vein of Ursula or Cruella de Vil. She's rude, self-centered, and will backstab anyone to get ahead. She begrudgingly becomes companions with Pippi to save the cartoon world. Throughout the season, she befriends Pippi and becomes a hero herself, helping to save the cartoon world, but she always stays the tough to no nonsense character at her core. She is the embodiment of why everyone loves bad guys. Even at her most vulnerable and heroic, she's a badass villain at heart. Now, as you guys know, I'm a huge Disney fan. I love everything about Disney. I love every aesthetic that Disney has brought to the table. And so the fact that they made a character out of two very popular Disney villains, that being Ursula and Cruella de Vil, I really like that a lot. Honestly, she does give off a lot of Cruella de Vil vibes, even though she's a cat and Cruella de Vil doesn't like dogs and dogs don't like cats and cats don't like dogs. Oh my God, I might've had a brain blowing moment with this. Now, the other cool thing about this is the fact of like, she's a villain. She's not supposed to do a lot of good deeds. And so she transitions in from being a bad villain to possibly an anti-hero of sorts to help save the cartoon universe is a really nice aesthetic. I really do think that with this character, Melira can actually actually be a really good character to the show and hopefully the voice castings for this are really on point so we'll have to see when this comes out although a lot of these details aren't exactly out there in the open yet at least we have this tiny bit of information to give us a general idea as to how these characters will be in this possibly upcoming show and I really do hope that the show gets greenlit because the content of it is interesting. It's different from what other shows have brought to the table. And who knows if it does get greenlit and we get to see this a premiere on Adult Swim. That's an instant W in my book. But ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap up this video. I really wanted to make another video for you guys because you guys really liked that last video of learning with Pibby. And so I really wanted to bring this to the table for you guys to watch and enjoy in case you guys wanted brand new information about this series as a whole from my perspective. And quite honestly, hopefully Adult Swim and Cartoon Network Studios realize that this is an actual good thing, that the fact that it's so popular and earned 3 million views on their YouTube channel. So if they don't see this and they don't make this into a series, I'm gonna go ballistic. But ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna wrap up this video today. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with a friend and turn on notifications for future content. 
and let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below. Do these brand new details about come and learn with Pibby Apocalypse please you? Do you think that with this much details leaked on the internet that this could actually be turned into a real show soon? And out of these characters, which one of these sounds like your most favorite at the current moment? But ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna wrap up this video. If you guys did enjoy, like I said, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video with a friend. My name is Animatidi, better known as Animated, and I hope that you guys go on ahead and tune in next time.